Hi guys, welcome back to another phone hunt or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I went on an awesome hunt again with uh, well from the two awesome collectors that I previously bought uh, hmm, last year a lot of phones uh, in which two of them were new in the box sealed. Now I've done it again. So let me not waste your time anymore and get into it and start them all. I'm gonna start up with uh, this thing that just caught my eye. <laughs> they gave it to me as a gift. An iPhone 4 with a cracked touchscreen that's stuck on this. I installed iTunes and try to solve it but I can't. If there's any Apple user here that knows how to fix this, it gives an error. I mean uh, it restarts when I connect it to iTunes and, and click restore. It restarts, it shows the Apple logo and the loading bar, it doesn't load anything and it restarts again in this. So I don't know what else to do to it. I mean, I, like I, I'm not an Apple fan but uh, I mean come on, th this phone has its charm and I liked it even when it, it's, uh, when it was popular. This and the 5. It's turned off, right? Good. So, yeah. And also gave me <laughs> this touch screen with display as a gift. So, thank you. Now, <laughs> I also got two S M2 adapters. Actually, SD adapt adapters to M2, I believe. Memory stick duo adapter. This is one, and this is the other. I can put these in some uh, Sony Ericsson phone boxes, which are missing. Usually the Cybershot ones. Next up is this <laughs> pretty awesome Harry Potter uh, mobile phone case. It's an original one. Suitable for 3310, 3330. Man, th these phones were the most popular, popular phones for accessories. And I think you might he might have heard of Nokia that it's completely off now. It's dead. I mean, HBM Global, it's uh, giving up on the Nokia logo. Okay. Here you have it. This A. Okay, now I saw it. It's an A. It looks... <laughs> I don't know why I read it like Harry Potter. <laughs> Man, this is just some... Something about the trademark here. I don't know if you can see it in. And this is a small pouch. <laughs> Cute. One second. I have to do this. I just have to. What's up, Doc? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Nice. But I oh, wait. I'm putting this back to not give very much. I have here a Sony Ericsson, well, R model with the radio. I forgot what kind of R this is. To find out. Oh, it's a prototype. Prototype build. Nice. Doesn't say which one. Yeah, I forgot it's a prototype. My bad. Well, being a prototype, it's a used phone, basically.
camera's working fine. It's actually pretty snappy. <laughs> Should be something about volume, but yeah. Now if I go to the radio, I need to insert the hands-free. But not in this video. Anyway, it works. Let me turn it off. Next is this Sun Ericsson, which looks pretty decent. Mm. I don't know for what, what reason it didn't see my SIM card. Maybe it's locked in orange. There we go. Okay, it saw the SIM card, good. So it's locked in orange, it means. But it works. I forgot to show what model that is, I need. great. This is the K508i. If I close it, oh, it doesn't have a button, just uh, it's on auto. Nice. I do want to put the battery again in this one. Sorry, I forgot to mention what this model was. Dang it. R300i. Next up, another Sun Ericsson prototype. It's the model Sun Ericsson 123. <laughs> yeah, but seriously, we'll see in a minute. Doesn't say the model here, but we're about to find out what model it is. I think I got a dead battery over here. Oh, and I also forgot it has this thing for you to pull the battery out easy. Okay, now it's starting. The Bluetooth is turned on. This is pretty snappy, like really snappy, even in the menu, no lag. <laughs> cool. And for some reason I keep forgetting to show you the model, the S302. Now the next sorry, Sony Ericsson should be the K610, I believe, or, or W610. Let's look because I, I, I didn't know for long about this model. W610i. It's in decent condition. Well, good condition. 
<laughs> these are buttons, these chrome things. You wait for it to. This one also has the Bluetooth turned on. <laughs> it also has infrared. I mean, yeah, I think this is up here is. snappy as well. For a 2 megapixel camera it looks pretty awesome. Okay, next. Since I'm looking at Sony Ericsson's, let's finish with the, this is the last Sony Ericsson. Well, something like that. Ta-da! This is a monster. So freaking huge. So this should be the W900i. I wanted this phone for a while and forgot its name. It's in this in condition, you can just clean it. It has its bumps here and there. What can you do? It's a used phone, not new. Let me close it because uh, you, I think you're going to like what you're going to hear. And Sony Ericsson's always wait until it finds the carrier because otherwise it's going to lag. Yeah, the classic Vodafone theme. Still looks good though. Yeah. Now listen to this. <laughs> So I have the camera button here, and it also has autofocus. 3.2 mega or oh, 2 megapixel camera. But look at the lens; they're huge. Listen. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. That sound effect, bro, is just... <laughs> now, I also got some uh, Samsung phones. I got another one of these. I forgot the model. And this one actually works and it's in very good condition. Like, no scratches at all. Maybe something here, but not bad at all. It's an Android device. This is how it looks. Man, oh, look how much personality it has on the icons and everything. This is from the, the first generations that had the touch screen separated from the display. You can kind of see dust kind of got in, but I can clean that. Let's go to settings. About. System tutorial. <laughs> oh, the GTI 5700. And the firmware is... Well, Cupcake, 1.5 version. 
on this one I don't think it has the animations oh and it should be like a nap this one switches switchers <laughs> and you have these Camera is decent. After that, an SD card it won't work. Still, good. This is the home menu on this thing. See? Alright, I'm gonna leave this on for now. Next, and is this one. I don't know the model. I don't think if I press the volume it will show me. Anyway, it's uh, your typical Samsung. You know, the first ones before Android. Slide up to use the camera. In the honor of the previous Samsungs. By the way, it's an 8 megapixel camera. Ew. Now let's see the people, please if you sell your phones, don't let your pictures in it, especially your children's pictures, come on, I have to delete everything, something like that, I don't know it, why I took it like that. Something like this. And it works fine. Awesome. How to lock it? Yeah. <laughs> Let me lock this one as well. Next. Of course, I, I got also a Nokia phone. This Nokia phone. Which is in very good new pristine condition only has some scratches here but that's not a problem and if this one is not working i have it for parts because i already have one of one or two of these it's the 7020a2 let me look for a battery got a battery in so let's turn it on vibrated that's always a good sign usually i accept Nokia prototype. Oh, it's a prototype. Property of Nokia. Is it a prototype? It doesn't act so prototypish. I haven't even read the label. I'll have to check it. Hmm. The display shows, apparently. They said that the display wasn't showing, but it shows. Double tap -o. <laughs> No virtual variant. Lifetime R0. Is it a prototype though? Let's start the camera. Yeah. I'm gonna turn it off now because I have to check. Is it a prototype? I mean, it's awesome if it is, but still. <laughs> Made by Nokia. I mean, it, it, it's not a prototype. Usually when it's a prototype, it says here prototype, not the model. It has a EMA, so yeah, not the prototype. Still, it's awesome that it's, awesome that it's working. I mean, they told me that this display wasn't working, but apparently it does. Yeah, I'm happy it does. <laughs> yeah, bye. I'm going to put it here. Now, 
Here's a phone that I never knew existed, and I'm pretty sure many of you may not also know it, and maybe some of you know that know it. And it's an LG, the LG Lotus. <laughs> These are buttons. <laughs> Tada! pretty awesome. I mean, it's beautiful. Definitely for ladies by the look of it. Start the camera. And for a 2 megapixel camera, it's looking decent. I mean decent. It's looking actually good. Low battery. I will recharge you, don't worry. But first let me ch uh, show you the pic. I took a picture with my uh, friend <laughs> today. I can't, I have to charge the battery. But uh, yeah, LG Lotus. What? I am turning it off because I'm guessing some of you want to know what um, exactly what exactly the model of it. So, I think it's the LX600 for a reason, but let me be sure. Yeah, beige LX600. Put in this back because I want to charge it. <laughs> Beautiful phone, bro. Beautiful phone. Now, uh, I'm gonna take pride in this. I finally found a phone that I was looking for a while, and that is the Sajem My X62. I'm not, I have some Sajems, what I l thought looked interesting. I'm not too much of a fan. But the reason I wanted this one is because my dad and my stepmom had each one of these. And that was in the time when I had my Nokia 3220. That being this one. I mean, I like this phone, but uh, no Bluetooth, no infrared, no MP3 player, just a VJ camera, some lights, effects, and that's kind of it. I mean, it was, to me it was awesome because it had the color screen, a camera, at least. But this one has a 1.3 megapi megapixel camera with digital zoom of 8 times, an MP3 player, uh, Bluetooth, infrared. What I don't have for it is a battery. But I can... And this one, it's unlocked, luckily, because the one that my parents had was the one with the gray version here. And here, not the blue one. This is not for it. I don't have a battery, but I can just press it here. Like this, just to turn it on. And it works. They lent it to me when I was on a road trip to have a better phone, you know? And I kind of fell in love with it. It's pretty snappy. This is the photo camera, <laughs> and uh, this is the one second video camera. Uh, low resolution. Oh, and if you know some uh, phone effects, here's what this phone. Re know this uh, tone? In case you use it, use it as a filter, or I don't know. Find this in apps, it's this old. This phone is from 2005, 2006. And it had a lot of interesting ringtones. <laughs> when I had it in my hand, I also installed its uh, software and used the data cable to upload other <laughs> sounds to it. Well, what it, while it was mine, after that I had to give it back and then I got the Sony Ericsson V630, which I'm very grateful. <laughs> Now, these are those phones. Now, I have here some boxed phones, which are also sealed. And that being, first, the Motorola K Razer K1. So, so what's the actual model? Yeah, K1. Sealed, new in the box, with accessories and everything. And I'm not gonna open it, it will stay sealed. And uh, my last phone in the box, or actually my last phone, 
is this, the Sun Ericsson T303 Daisy Edition. Like I said, sealed. Brand new with accessories and everything. Love it. And that was this hunt. What are your thoughts? Did you have any of these phones back then? Do you have them now in your collection? Leave a comment. Also, if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like, maybe consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. And I wish you a very awesome day just like yourself and awesome finds in your collection. Whatever you're collecting, I hope you find what you're looking for at a good price. Maybe even free. <laughs> yeah. And I wish you a very awesome day just like yourself and all the best, guys and girls. Bye.